AITA for refusing to let my stepmother be part of talking to my therapist or psychiatrist? I, 17 male, have a diagnosed mental illness. Got my diagnosis formally at 12 and that was a shitty year for me. My dad uprooted us two months after my formal diagnosis to live with his then girlfriend, now wife, and I left behind everyone else I knew and loved and during the move some sentimental stuff got destroyed. The stuff was my mom's and dad had put it in the wrong pile after I tagged it so it wasn't handled with the care it should have been. I was pretty much destroyed at that point. I already hated that we were moving and then to lose some of the stuff mom loved the most. I was admittedly a mess in the next couple of years. I took forever to find a new therapist. My original psychiatrist here wasn't someone I clicked with either and it took like a year for a new one and almost three for me to find a therapist I could talk to. I admit I'm not that into Emily. I do hold resentment toward her and dad for the move. She also rubs me the wrong way but I also admit I'm not exactly super open to liking her. She's made comments about it being good that we move so I can learn how to miss people, which is really fucking insensitive but then she seems to remember that I'll forever miss someone. She has spoken like I agreed to the move. Why did you move if you weren't going to try and enjoy it? And when I tell her I didn't agree she'd say dad made the decision and I should trust him enough to want this and give it my all. She has complained that I didn't let her family members fill the void of my missing family from here and she has seemed kinda sour that I'm closest to my mom's family above everyone. We also clash over me saying she's married to my dad slash my dad's wife to people instead of saying my stepmom. I said stepmother once and she told me it sounded so detached and I told her that's how I feel. It drives my dad crazy and we discuss me moving in with my grandparents back home but dad changed his mind about it twice. He told me I'm his kid and he's not letting me go and he wants to repair our relationship. He asked me to forgive him for making decisions that I felt were for the worst for me. He said he's trying to do right by us both. This is why he typically respects when I don't want to include him in my therapy session. But my dad is anxious that I'm almost 18 and he wanted to have a meeting with my psychiatrist and therapist about me. But he wanted Emily included and I said no. And I expressed this to both my therapist and my psychiatrist so they won't talk with her in the room. Emily was so offended. My dad was hurt that I still wanted to shut her out and that I didn't trust his decision in partner. I told him she is not my parent and she does not get access to that stuff about me. I told him I can't stop him telling her technically, but I will never give my consent for her to talk to them herself. They told me I need to let her because she's one of my guardians and it's important for them to be on the same page. Dad begged. AITA? 